Geometry Lesson 4-3. Continuing our work with congruent triangles, we have two different situations that allow us to determine whether or not we are going to have congruent triangles. Our first one is known as the side-side-side congruency postulate, referred to it as SSS. If three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of a second triangle, then the two triangles are going to be congruent. In other words, if you see a diagram where there's one side that matches up with another one, another one that matches up with another one, and a third side that matches up with a third side, they are going to be exactly the same. There's no way around it. What I usually get, <clears throat> if I grab a couple rulers here and this yardstick, is I have people who will take a triangle <clears throat> and they'll say, all right, I've got these two pieces here, and I form a triangle like so. And they're pretty excited about this triangle, and they think they have it. And I say, okay, could you take these three exact same measurements and make a different triangle? So they take them all apart, and they're like, I'm going to do something different this time. I'm going to put them over here. And lo and behold, it's the exact same triangle. It's just been reversed. So if you have the same lengths and you can't modify the lengths, it won't allow you to squish or spool, uh, pull or stretch the triangle. It's as far as it's going to go. You will have the exact same triangles. Therefore, all three sides, side, 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 is a postulate we can use to prove congruency. Now that's different as far as angles. We talked before about three angles is not enough. A lot of people think it is. But remember... This angle matches up with itself, that angle matches up with that angle, and these two can be right angles, which means that all three and both of the triangles are congruent, but they're definitely not the same size triangle. So angle, angle, angle is not enough to prove congruency, but side, side, side is. And one more, <clears throat> for right now, is the side, angle, side. Now what's important about the side, angle, side is the two sides and the angle between them. The angle between the two sides if those are congruent to another triangle that has two angles and an, a side between them, then you'll have your side angle side. Now what I look for is when it goes like this. It's like connected. Side angle side. Side angle side. Side angle side. Side angle side. It's connected in one corner. The two angles and the two sides are forming the angle we're talking about. The angle is in between the sides. What I mean by not working is if you had a situation where, pretend this wasn't a right angle, and instead you had a, a, an angle down here that matched up with this one. Now, this is not between the two sides. So this is not the angle we're talking about. This would not be good enough. We want it to be so that it matches up in between the two angles. So you have two properties, postulates, that you can use. You've got the side angle side, and you have the side side side. Both of them at least involve one side. This one then also has the angle involved. Just remember, it has to be connected. If you skip, if you go side and then side and then somewhere else, that's not good enough. That's got to be in between. 